all right so what is going on today youtube now today we're going to be doing a little different video i was um was trying to do some vindrip uh yesterday but uh not yesterday but i was going to supposed to play with them yesterday but they were not uploaded but today they are uploading all their glory and uh all their nastiness so that's what we're going to do so we're going to just name this vindrez because we want to do now this is taking the uh the zombie link deck and we're going to be testing some battle lords we can only probably play one because while he is good um don't really need it uh we i i don't like chimera so up to y'all if y'all want to play it definitely playing three of these um gonna test at least one of those out and i did buy some vendred reorgin so we can test those out and i guess you know you know what since you know what that's that's what makes this really good reorigin reunion is actually playable now because when this dies you could dump and you know you'll be able to use this because you can add a ritual monster to your hand Ooh, that's actually pretty good so let's go ahead and just max out on those let's go ahead and cut the shine balls out the gofu we can keep the oops oh wait well, that wasn't supposed to be uh <clears throat> that was definitely was not supposed to be cut but uh yeah um I don't have Ash Blossoms, and but we're gonna play with them anyways. Uh, I don't think that uh, the Zombie World build would be too fancy for this. Uh, we can definitely cut out a Miracle Dig. Um, the Eradicator, actually, Eradicator is actually really, really fun. Um, so you definitely can play with it. Let's just start off with 44. Oh, there's no Revenants. That is a problem. We definitely have to play Revenants at the most. Uh, capable a bit. I mean the, the you know at least one I want to kind of test two. we're gonna take gofu out for right now Because we're gonna just be trying double revenants because of the actually we should probably do a double hunt You know what? No, I think I'm going way a little too far and we also need preparation of rights um, Definitely those because uh, yeah, we have some monsters. All right So this is once again another problem with the Vendred deck now. I know I'm just spitballing right here but Goblin Zombie is going to have to go to two because um, um, it's, it's just too good. Why can I not spell Goblin Zombie? That is terrible. Um, there we go. We can try two Goblin Zombies. And another card we're probably going to have to play is Samurai Skull because it can, you know, once again, we can normal summon it, dump something, activate a Vendred Charge, get us out another Vendred. Now, <clears throat> once again, the still problem with his deck is to get into the ritual, so that's a problem. But um, you know what? Maybe, maybe a lore can go back in here. Yeah, let's try some lore. <laughs> I'm making this deck 53 cards, so yeah, uh, 52 cards. I cannot count. All right, so let's trim some stuff down. Like I said, I don't really like to play hand traps in here we can only play one battle lord i don't know I, you know what a matter of fact we can just test chimera because of battle lord second effect but i really kind of want two battle lords because when this dies it can open up reunion and getting to reunion is actually really good so um Skodid is coming out so we can actually just keep one for right now we don't have firewall that's not coming out that's not out that's not out sadly we're not getting this and that so <clears throat> yeah we're at 52 right now we have to cut this down immediately like a, a bunch um this is cool um i'm only going to be probably using this for i don't know why this wasn't a tuner it definitely should have been a tuner um but uh like i said i'm just gonna just play this because it's is there i'm not gonna we're just like i said we're just testing stuff out right now and i actually want to cut a slayer for another um battle lord because i feel i feel like battle lord is actually going to be very key with reunion so let's try that also let's try to bump up the reunion you know what let's for right now just take out the full force virus even though they're even it's even a better um access for it so 50 is cool how many monsters 27 all right so we're going to be trying this stuff out um yeah all right we need to fill out the extra deck so Let's go ahead and put a Skylight in, and uh, you know what? Uh, let's just uh, let's just do this the easy way. Bam, eight, uh, Synchro, Skylight. All right. So what else do we play? 
Um, we play Crystal Wing, but we don't have what's name, so I don't think we play that. Scrap Dragon is actually pretty decent. I've been testing it ever since I've seen Lithium play it, and it's actually a very, you know, very decent card to actually be playing. Um, so now, what else could we possibly do? What what else am I missing? Oh, Tornado Dragon. Oh wait, that's not a Synchro. Uh, what else Synchros are we missing? Um, we can we can definitely make Attrition in this deck. This is does not need to be eight. Um, we could definitely make Attrition in this deck. So let's throw that in there. Um, what else? I think that's uh, that's it for the level sevens. That's this is pretty disgusting. But like I said, we're not focused on Synchro right now. We're just focusing on uh. Okay, let's clear that. Um, let's just make it a monster. So let's get Tornado Dragon. Where are you at? And we can go ahead and put a Deco Talker. And, you know, we can just we can just put the stuff that we usually put the Proxy Dragon. Um, and then also, what else? What else do we play? One more card. I know I'm missing something. What what else, folks? You guys just let me know. Um, I really don't know what else to play. Um, what else is coming out in uh, Extreme Force? Nothing, right? Nothing is too good for us. Um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I really don't know what to play. This is crazy. I literally always have my extra deck at least figured out. Um, I don't know what's coming out in Extreme Force, so... Um, Jesus, this is terrible. Um, let's just play a Castell for no reason. And I know, I know as soon as I go into a game, I'm, I know I'm going to, you know, I know I'm going to play against a deck. I'm going to need a certain uh, extra deck monster that I didn't put it in. But anyways, this is the deck. Um, did a little deck building thing. Um, so yeah, uh, be right back. All right, so that was uh, pretty loud. Let's see what we can do. We are starting off going first, and let's see what we can do. Holy crap, this hand is actually pretty decent. Um, but we once again, the problem with this, this looks so small compared to Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2, doesn't it? This is the problem, you know, that comes with, uh, this is, why do I play two unit zombies? Oh, I already got to take the deck out and, uh, re-go back in. But, um, once again, this is a, the major problem with the deck, which we still haven't got addressed with, is the fact that we have no way to get to a what's in there. We have no absolute way to get to a spell card besides, uh, preparation, I mean, pre-prep of rights, and, you know, that's, that's okay, but it's not, you know, this has to target Fendra at time. Yeah, that sucks. Um, but yeah, there's no, there's no definitive way to continue to, you know, to, to get to a ritual spell. Vendra Knights could have solved all that, but sadly, um, they did what they did with that. So, and then like, we have to play stuff like, um, I'm playing DDD. Okay, that's weird. Um, we have to play stuff like, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? Uh, what, what is the name? What is the name of the card? Uh, we have to play stuff like the Ritual Sanctuary. I think it, that the one that discards a spell at a Ritual spell, I think it does that. Like, come on, like we don't want to discard spells. We don't even have spells to begin with. Actually, in this deck, you can possibly do that because of Battle Lord's effect that you you know you just simply get stuff out and you know in in that in that occasion and stuff like that. But <clears throat> besides all that. Um, yeah, I mean, Battle Lord can banish anything. That's cool, but, you know, what, what, what do we get with that? And this is the problem with playing, you know, the Origin, is the fact that this can be your starting off to... Oh, shit, excuse me, but you literally possibly can't play it. Now, I know I'm playing 50, 50 cards, but, you know, we're just testing right now. We're going to just, you know, make cards accordingly. I mean, you do things accordingly. Um, we're going to have to cut at least five cards by next match. What do you do? You do anything in the graveyard? No, but we're going to just return the Mizuki. Now, hopefully we do get a ban list. Um, we can bump up, bump up Burial to three, but once again, it's not solving them. Okay, well, that's fine. Well, now we know he has three, basically three cards to work with, um, and that's completely fine. Um, so it kind of didn't matter that it was, you know, it wasn't really anything. Um, but it, it, it's cool. It's cool. Um, Pre-prep can actually get us very far. Where we can we can just start doing a whole bunch of stuff. Sadly, Battle Lord is not Slayer, so we can't search that. I really want to test out Battle Lord. I really think Battle Lord is a fantastic card. All right, so you're discarding Lamia to get the 
what's the name right and I, I don't think I should actually negate I mean not actually I can't negate anything but um, <clears throat> I don't think I show Omega um, at any point until he starts to try to fusion or something like that because there's just nothing else I can really do um, and I don't think uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro actually yeah okay let me see if the, if the holding A because if I let go A like I'm doing right now like if I let go A right now <clears throat> they actually don't be letting you uh, they actually don't let you uh, like see look right right here they don't let you do anything so you have to hold down A wait, well, wait, never mind I was holding down A because I thought it was already over but I'm just going to hold down A because I already feel like that's the reason I'm going to be losing nope not going to do anything to that um, you can go ahead and get the dark contract at the gate now if you get something as in the level 8 or something okay let's just uh, does S not work does S not work I don't get it oh okay oh there we go that's what I wanted okay Jesus Christ all right that's exactly what I wanted um, <clears throat> because now if he activate the effect we can chain Omega hopefully we hit the right card if we hit something different, we're just we're just in trouble here, folks. All right, we hit something else out of his hand. Does this fusion from your field? Sin, wait, fusion from monsters from your hand is fusion from your So he does have another one. Um, actually, DD Ghost was actually probably the best choice for him. He definitely did not want to discard that uh, Burfman out of his hand because Burfman could have did some other stuff. So now, <clears throat> unless. He just magically has the best, you know, things. Wait, what's going on here? Okay, well, that's that's nothing. That's nothing. Um, <clears throat> put that back in the grave, but like I said, that doesn't do anything in the graveyard. Um, and yeah, next turn, we draw a pre-prep. We can just do some, we can do some major things. And then, especially because of Samurai Skull, we could just do a bunch of stuff. Now, this this is good because now um, that little one-star Vindred, you're going to send... Oracle, but why are you doing that? Now, see, now, um, like I said, with the one star, if we can get that in the graveyard, we can normal summon Skull to send the one star. Mizuki for Gozuki, send Spirit Master. Spirit Master, ban I mean, banish Spirit Master, special summon itself, pop this. It's used as link material, which I'm pretty sure most of the time is going to be used as a link material. Um, we can possibly throw in a link Karibo, <clears throat> but it's not legal yet, so. That is a bit weird of how we're going to be able to incorporate that in our decks now. But uh, we can go Akashic Magician. We can just do a whole bunch of different things. Looks like he's going to link into a possible um, Deco Talker, which would be a terrible move. But, you know, people make terrible moves. So, <laughs> I mean, you just got to roll with it. Uh, I mean, my... Okay, well, he, he's just going to go for it. Um, I mean, I think he should have just... Oh, that's a, actually a Synchro, huh? Um, he can go Omega. Oh, Scarlight. Okay, that's pretty weird, but okay. And I, I really love Samurai Skull. This is going to possibly have to get cut, but... Huh? Okay. Um, I really do love Samurai Skull. I, I really do. Um, the card is just so good. Oh, there's another Mizuki. That absolutely does nothing. But it's okay. We can probably trish this young man, huh? We can possibly Trish. We can do that play I was talking about. Um, so, wait, what? Did, how did he get a card back? Okay, so wait, we can actually do the play I was... No, that was not the play I was supposed to do. But it's okay. It's absolutely okay, folks. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to dump the, uh, the one-star Avenger core... All right, so yeah, we're good. Locked and loaded. Normal summon skull. Skull. Yeah, you know what? Actually, skull is actually pretty good. Core is actually pretty good. I really like core. The fact that it doesn't rely on other Vindreds is really good. I could send Chimera, but no, it has to be banished for virtual summon. The Lone Spirit Master. That is just awesome, isn't it? Sadly, it has zero attack, but it is very awesome. So that's that's cool. That is, and it's a cost. That's just good. Special man right in the fence. Spirit Master can go ahead and pop this. Look at that. Isn't that just fantastic, folks? That is fantastic. Now we can link up into a proxy dragon. Use uh go and then use Gozuki and banish um uh what do you see? Hound Horde. Special summon Mizuki from my hand, but you already have game. Alright, so that's the first game. Uh let's go make some changes and we'll be right back with another one. Alright, folks. So even though that was good, let's go ahead and I guess 
I don't even know about that. Um, we have to try to at least, you know, just turbo out the Avenger. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out a skull. I really don't, I mean, I really want to use this card, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to do anything. I know we didn't even get to see it, but I'm just saying it doesn't look like it's going to be anything of use. Uh, we got to cut one more card. Like I said, I really don't like playing hand traps. You can cut Chimera. I really don't like Chimera. Um, actually, no. This could actually work out very good. Um, five virtual monsters is actually pretty decent. Um, we have 46, so we have to cut out a card. Hmm. Uh, I want to try a lower. You know what? Let's just cut out the hand traps. With the two ashes, even though they're very, very good. I don't want to play hand traps. And then, I think that's enough for right now. Let's get another duel and check the time and then possibly come back with another duel or that'll be it for today. All right, folks, so here we go back again. Let's see if we can win the rock, paper, scissors. You gotta be, oh God, he actually played it like perfectly. Um, all right, he, ooh, here, ooh, here we go, this is good. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't even know what the hell I was doing just now. That was, this is really good. Um, this is really good. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I love this card. You guys are gonna actually see why I love this card, so definitely getting the Hound Horde off of this. Um, immediately getting the Hound Horde off of this. Oh, that's that's really good. Um, actually, can normal summon this, special summon this, and actually let's just start off with the pre prep. Let's see what we can do with that. Um, we have to get this, so that sucks. Um, hmm, what I technically can do is I can origin right now and get these two right in the graveyard um hmm if we can go battle lord and call traps yeah i want to try that i think i want to try that um yeah let's 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 try let's see if we can do that um nope don't want to change that. wait what oh this is for my hand oh i don't even need to put it on the field i'm i'm just okay so what i was saying mizuki and Goblin zombie? Is that, is that what I wanted to do? Mizuki. Goblin. Yeah, let's let's try that. Let's bring out Slayer. Then, what we can do. And it doesn't target, so they can't even really chain to it. It's active. I see it's a cost, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and let's special out Hound Horde. And then with Hound Horde, I mean with Slayer, we can activate that. We can add another origin, and then we can dump Battle Lord. Then we can activate this. Um, we special my Battle Lord by tributing Hound Horde on the field. And the Solitaire from my hand. Special summon Hound Horde. It's not a quick effect, sadly. Um, bam. What? Banish the Vendre card. Oh, never mind. Get yeah, that one. We want to activate that. Let's banish Vendre charge and let's call traps. And then there we go. So now do we have just free action with that? Ooh, there's a Metal Force counter. That's all right though. Activate this. And go ahead and get us a what's the name out. Oh my god, if this card was a quick effect, that would have just been beauty. But we're we're alright. We can we can do some things here, folks. Sadly we have no access to another spell, but it's okay. We can go off with um Hmm, we're not scared of traps right now. I actually should have Mizuki for a goblin zombie because that was double omega. But I still think it is double omega, huh? I mean, it's still double omega. So we're just gonna do this. Uh hopefully he does not have anything. Um, this, this, this is too crucial down there. But, like I said, we're not afraid of traps. Um, I'm pretty sure he's not playing Book of Eclipse. So that's fine. Can't get evenly matched. So, just go ahead and just do all this. And then on his turn, like I said, we can, um, just go ahead and do some Master... Ooh, a Ghost Ogre. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So look, look at Battle Lord coming in. This is why I think Battle Lord has its uses. Sadly, I mean, if it was, if it was... One, if it was during the push turn, Battle Lord clearly would have made this would have made the deck just okay. This made, made the deck useful, you know what I mean? Uh, like it would have just been so damn good. But no, we we um, 
We can't do it. We can't have good things. Uh, I already have one Wazuki banished, right? Yeah, I only have one Wazuki banished. Um, I forgot I played Scoldy. I could Scoldy right now. Do I want to, though? I think I kind of do. Um, can I? I can Scoldy in Steel. I can Snow. Because if I Scoldy, right, with, if I banish Mizuki for something, I Scoldy. I could search Gozuki, but then I wouldn't have I wouldn't have enough for what's the name. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. That's, that's pretty bad. Um, but <clears throat> we pretty much get rid of all of his hand, so that's cool. Bam. See, folks, Battle Lord is pretty good. And Vendred Charge is doing his Duck Dizzle. Um, let me just go ahead and search Mizuki. And then we can just, uh, yeah, we thin the deck out. It's cool. See, man, you see? And it, but, but then, once again, this is the problem. Is the fact <laughs> that we literally have no play after this. Like, after this, we have no play. Um, and, it, and it's, and it's, it's going to suck. Like, because we have no, like, this doesn't get, like, if this said add any Vendra card from, you know, from your, what's the name, to your, like, to the hand, that would have been good. Like, any Vendra card, like, from your graveyard or banished, like, that would have made this really a battle lord. I'm going to keep a Mizuki in there because, uh, yeah, keeping Mizukis is actually pretty cool. Um, not yet. All right, he surrendered. All right, so let's see. Um, actually, let's just go back in one more time, see what we can do. All right, folks, here we go. And we have lost the die roll again. I mean, hand, rock, paper, scissors, Jesus Christ. Oh, but we have opened up. Um, oh, God, this is horrible. Um, what do you do? Set us at the, okay, that's fine. This is actually a pretty good hand. I actually like this. What do you do? Activations. Um, on the field cannot be negated. When your opponent activated monster effect, you can send, oh, damn it, we need, what's the name? Badly. Um, we need fullest burial of belongings. That actually might be good in this deck. Um, bam. He's gonna negate it, right? Um, yeah, we can't we can't really do anything against that. What do you do if you sense the graveyard? Um, let me just set you. Target one in one ritual spell, spell some of that monster in the sense, and if you do, add that ritual spell to your hand. Yeah, we need a way to uh, probably you know what? That might be actually oh no. This is not good folks. Um This is not good. Uh yeah, we possibly need to throw Foolish Burial Belongings. That's how sad it's getting, but we possibly need to do it. Um, I don't think that's good, though. That is not good at all. All right, there's a Mrs. Radiant. Pretty sure he's going to go to another Mrs. Radiant. So we're taking 4,800 4, 4, 4, minimum. Oh, nope, never mind. We're taking more than that. We're taking 4,900 minimum. If he links this off, he's probably gonna go into it. No, he's gonna go into double decode. I mean, double link spider. Why did I say that? Um, but he locked his zones up. What do you do? Uh, target a card, return it to the hand. That's completely fine. It's completely fine, folks. What do you do? Um, okay. See, why are these quick effects? But my, but you know, I can't use quick effects. Like, come on. Um, but Battle Lord would be good. If we draw pre prep, we can possibly win this game. And I'm just being 100% honest with you guys, we can possibly win this game. Um, how much is that? That is uh, 19, that's 50, 68. So he's 1200 off in game right now. He's already conducted his normal summon. Has his link zones locked up. So unless he uses these four to go into a skull deed or these four up, no, he's not. Okay. So he's going to take this. And this is quick effect, so um, what I can do with is this an Ultra Guys card? Hmm. So technically, what I can do here, if we draw pre prep, we can we can possibly win this game. If we don't, we're just probably gonna lose. Um, <laughs> that's as simple as that. Um, we need no, we need Origin or we need a pre prep. Any other thing is not working. Um. Why do I not play Desires anymore? Because I play a Lord. That's exactly why. Um, but yeah, 
once again, like, like I said, that's the fault with the deck is the fact that we cannot. Um, goes Deco Talker. Okay, that's completely fine because I can just call monsters with this, and you can't activate Deco Talker or this. But like I said, I'm uh, please. I hope we draw something good. Uh, God, it's a mess. This is the problem, folks. This is the problem. This is the problem with the deck. Ah, sadly, man, we have all these cards, but no way to get to a ritual spell. Alright, so, what we're going to do here is do this. Um, and we're going to get out... Um, we're going to get out the 1800 guy and try to attack over this. Um, I believe he has the, what is that, that's the Monster Reborn? Oh, okay, I don't, I don't care about that. It's not the Monster Reborn. This is the, if you activate a trap card, you expel some of this card from your hand, but the last thing that happened was not a trap card, sir. It was the activation of my spell, but pretty sure Yu-Gi-Oh says it does not matter, right? Yep, doesn't matter. And then this negates on the field, or just get already? Yep, uh, yep. Doesn't yeah, doesn't really matter. Okay, well that was stupid. Wait, what do you do? Ah, okay. Like I said, that's, that's complete. Wait, what's going on here? Target. Okay, attitude hand. That's fine. Okay, so you can't use this no more, right? So that's completely fine. Um, we might can still stay alive, folks. We can stay alive, but we're not winning. We need a ritual spell. And that is the crux of this deck. This is the reason why this deck is not competitive. Is, wait, what do you do? Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine. All right, so he can't use this again. And then what happens? So technically what I can do here what is this? If this card is destroyed by opponent's card effect, that sucks. Um, hmm. Uh, negate that. So you can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, so guard you. So we can definitely just black rose this whole field. What did he add back to his hand? And that's when special summons itself. That's completely fine, I guess. Does these do anything? No. No. Okay, so that being said, be foolish, it's young bazooki, and then go off from there, huh? So we sure can. I'm ho I'm hoping I'm not reading something wrong here because I'm gonna be pissed. All right, so we're not reading anything wrong here, but yeah, that's that's a problem also. So let me just target this have to oh wait we can trish can we hmm trish is would not get us anywhere uh, we have to send this right here trish is not getting us anywhere um and we're just going to keep what's name in our hand right now uh oh we could have scarlighted that was that was this i could still scarlight huh but then i won't be able to get over this and i won't be able to kill it and then these will stay alive I think Black Rose is actually pretty fun. Um, we could have Caustic Magician, but that would be stupid. Uh, I just think, yeah, this is, this is, let's just get it over with. Let's just do it. Absolutely. Bam, 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 bam. All right, nothing works. Then what we can do is activate pre-prep, uh, preparation. We can add Chimera, because that's the only one we really can't search. We already have the other one in the graveyard. And here we go. So we lose if he draws anything spectacular such as the best monster in their whole deck but it doesn't look like he drew anything that's fine ritual spell god Edie. damn it dude come on it's not even fair god we just we have so many ways to win that's completely fine go ahead and special on this um that's fine can't can't hate with that wait can i even use this oh i can't even use this huh i can't can i Yep, I can't. Can't even use it because I don't have a ritual spell. Well, folks, be right back. <laughs> so, like I said, um, yeah, man, that's pretty much the only problem 
with this deck is getting to this. Getting to this is the be all end all of this deck. And we don't really have too many ways to do that. And then since I'm playing 44, there's not really too many ways to uh, actually get to it. Now, add one ritual. Um, see, like, what is it? Add one ritual spell. I mean, no, this one adds, no, monster. That one, monster, that's the same card. That one adds a spell. This one adds a spell. Um, wait, what does it say? If this card is banned, you can add one ritual spell. It's a word, so it doesn't matter. What do you do once you turn this card? When this card is pendulum summon, we don't play pendulums. Um, this is cool, but we have no way to set it to the graveyard. Um,. Wait, Ritual Sanctuary doesn't say that? Um, let me see. Ritual Spell. Let's see, let's see how many. Uh, see, look, this one says discard a spell could add one light or ritual spell from your deck. So possibly we have to try and do that. Wait, what? No, no, that's. Okay, yeah. We possibly have to try to throw this in because that's probably the only way we can get to anything. But besides that, um,. I just don't know what we can do, man. I just don't know. Wait, what? Each time a monster is sent from the field to give our place, actually, we can possibly play Gateway of Chaos. Well, actually, we can't because we will need to play Black Luster uh, Soldier. I mean, a Black Luster Soldier or a guy the first night, which is terrible. But yeah, man, one of the it's, something has to be the option. There's not really too many ways to get to a ritual spell off tops without you know wasting your normal summon or drawing pre prep. And hopefully it does not get ash. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this impromptu video. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this. Let me know what you think about this. I have to use the bathroom. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys tomorrow with some more videos. And also, if you guys would like to support the channel, all I ask for you guys to do is click on that. That is enough for me. Thank you very much. Be. See you guys.